Hey, what's up YouTube land? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing Final Fantasy 13 Play Arts Hope. So let's head to the table and check it out. So here we are, and there he is. Here's Mr. Hope, little Mr. Hope. This year, by his box, Hope is number five of the second wave or volume two of the uh, Play Arts figures. Full name Hope S. Thyme, S. Thyme, S. Theme. I don't know how to pronounce that. No. You can help me out with that, the pronunciation, but here's Hope. Now, Hope is definitely the, uh, the reluctant hero in this game. One of, you know, the, he's the one guy who really, at the beginning of the game, he, he really doesn't want to be a part of it. He, he just wants to go home, you know. He wants to go home to his father and just not deal with any of what's going on. Um, you know, uh, at one point, Lightning does kind of take him under her wing and does kind of, you know, toughen him up. And at the same time, uh, Hope kind of teaches Lightning to to kind of, uh, you know, open up and, and let people in and, you know, uh, realize that, you know, there's more to life than just fighting and business and just getting the job done and, you know. He, he teaches her how to feel, which is just, just so nice. But, um... Yeah, um, Hope, at the beginning of the game, he is kind of a whiny character. He gets a little annoying, because he just kind of always is just, he always just kind of curls up in a ball and goes, No, I don't want to die, I just want to go home, I just, you know, and I just was wanting somebody to just smack him upside the head. But, um, he does t toughen up and learn that sometimes you do have to kind of, you know, fight for what's right and, you know, never give up hope. So, and uh, he does have a a major, major grudge with uh, Snow during the first half of the game to the point where he actually wants to kill Snow. He wants to just run a blade right through his heart and uh, basically because he holds uh, Snow responsible for something that, you know, a major event that happens right at the beginning of the game. Again, I don't want to give away any uh, spoilers here in case you haven't played it. So, yeah, he definitely, he, he wants to kill Snow. He wants blood. He wants revenge on Snow for what, you know, he feels Snow has done. But eventually he kind of, you know, kind of sees the light. And uh, forgives Snow, and works with him, and and they end up kind of, you know, bonding as the game progresses. But yeah, so here is Snow, and again, like all the Play Arts figures, very nicely detailed. Here's the head sculpt, very nice, very accurate to the in-game model, as they all are. His hair is kind of a soft. Nice soft rubbery plastic here too, so. Very nice. Baby blue eyes. Look at those baby blues. Yeah. This part of his jacket here is just a, a uh, it's a soft plastic here also. And it just drapes over his shoulders. And his collar here is a soft plastic. And it just gives you a little more leeway here. His jacket is also a soft plastic. And it just gives you a little more leeway for the, uh, for the posability. But again, very nicely detailed, as all these players' figures are. Like I've said time and time again, they don't they don't skimp on the detail here. Down to his little capri pants, his little s sneakers, his little air cocoons. Very cool. Very nicely nicely detailed. These little tassels here in the back of his shorts, which are just, you know, soft plastic. Very nice figure, down to his gloves. Which 
which are very, very nice. They don't skimp on detail. That's one thing I can give them. So, articulation, you know, he has a lot. He has fully ball jointed neck, uh, shoulders can do a 360. They do have that little uh, chest flex, well not really a chest flex, but a kind of a shoulder flex right here. Uh, the bicep swivel, elbow, wrist. He does have the upper ab articulation right here. And a waist joint, tight waist joint. Legs are on the ball joint, so they can do whatever. Double jointed knees. Got the ankle rotation. So it can go forward and back. And he does have the little toe swivel. So, yeah. Nice deal of articulation, as all these figures do. That's one thing I do like about these figures. They 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 make for a lot of posability uh, options, which I really really do appreciate. Now he only comes with two accessories. He only comes with his uh, his weapon holding hand, which you can tell us his weapon holding hand because of the big peg in his palm. And here is his weapon, which is the boomerang. Very nicely decoed boomerang here. It's a pimped out boomerang. Very nice. And it's collapsible. Unfortunately, there's no storage for it. I wish there was actually storage for this, but there is none. That's, that's the only little gripe I have, is you can't kind of just kind of clip it somewhere behind his back or something so we can store it, but... And there is a peg hole right there, and you just take it, just peg it into his hand, like so. Then you just pop out this hand, put in the other one. And there he got his boomerang. And now he's ready to fight. Not because he wants to, but because he probably just needs to. So <laughs> Because he has to. Because sometimes you just have to fight. Whether you want to or not. And that's what he learns. And they're not the most stable figures I've noticed. I mean it is kind of. You can't pose them pretty much any way you want. It's just getting them to stay up. That kind of becomes a problem. When you are posing them. But. There you go. There he is. And. Here he is next to. Lightning. It becomes kind of his babysitter. <laughs> there he is next to Snow. The guy who he wants to just kill. Oh! Everybody's falling over. Yeah, here he is next to Snow. And you can see they, they do make these figures to scale, you know, so they are in scale with each other, which is very nice. You know, he is like a, a 14, you know, he's 14 years old, so this is basically how tall he should be. So, get lightning over here, we'll, we'll resuscitate her later. She fainted. So, very cool figure. Of a very endearing character. Um. I think anybody can kind of identify with him at some level or another. But yeah, very very nice figure. I I would again recommend it as I would recommend any of the figures in this in this line. They're all just amazing, and you will not regret owning it at all. So that's pretty much all there is to say about this little squirt. So. There is the uh, Final Fantasy 13 Play Arts Hope, and this is Emgo, signing off.